What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here, and I'm coming at you with entry number 12 of the Gym Vlog Challenge 2024. I had to double check to see what day it was, and she just looked at me, and I'm like, what? Like, just double, because again, I don't want to be like the guy that's like, hey, it's the 31st. Honey, there's no 31st. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> But I'm just wondering how you forgot what today was. Oh, I knew what I knew what the day was, but I was just double checking because <laughs> I've said the wrong days before, and I've had to go the next day. But oh, I'm sorry, today's the 20th, or today's the this or that, you know, um, all that good stuff. But anyway, it is the 12th. It was Wednesday, hump day, halfway there. It is Wednesday. It dudes. is Wednesday, my dudes. Um, it took me three different videos today to finish the food review. It was that hot outside, apparently. My phone was like, it's too hot, I gotta stop working, sorry. And I'm like cranking the fan on it and like opening the window and letting the wind hit it. I'm like, you're fine, come on. <laughs> but three times. And the last video was six seconds of me doing the outro. And I'm like, really? You couldn't have held on for six more seconds? It's like riding a bull. Like, go the eight seconds, you can do it. I, I believe in you. That's what I get for believing. But anyway, so uh, like I said on the post that I did today, it was our talk anniversary today. Um, I don't know why it took me nine years to come up with that. Because <laughs> it's like, it's our anniversary. I'm like, oh, when y'all started dating? Like, no, when we started talking. I'm like, I've got to come up with a different term for that. Because people think that we started like our anniversary, like our wedding anniversary is like, because we... Hey, Taylor. Because, you know, we celebrate, you know, every aspect. You know, the day we started talking, you know, the day we first met, the, you know, obviously her birthday, my birthday. Because, you know, that's like our first birthdays together, we were doing stuff together. So, I mean, it's just kind of like a whole, there's a whole collection of dates that I'm like, well, no, this one, you know, it's a whole different, like, it's like a, you know, Halloween movie timeline. Like, oh, if you want to, you know, this is the first three, and this is the next three, and this is the, you know, if you don't like the first three, you know, go to this one, you know, type of thing. So, you were the best birthday present. Don't. You're cute. And so are you. I you were already seeing me. But yeah, then. but I went to Vertalis for my birthday that year. Well, that's true. Yeah. I had Pizza Planet buffet and shipped to shipped to Vertalis. But but you got to be my boyfriend on my birthday. Yeah, and I am also her ex boyfriend. What? I'm your ex boyfriend. Your ex fiance. Oh. Yeah, okay. I was I, like, I, I never broke I, up with I you. What are you that, talking about? I saw that in a TikTok video. It was like, hey, baby, I need to get into the safe uh, to put my get my credit card. What's the combination? And he's like, oh, it's my ex-girlfriend's birthday. And she's like, you're what? It's my ex-girlfriend's birthday. Like, I mean, it's, it's simple. Why do you have your ex-girlfriend's birthday? Well, because I still care about her, you know? So it's my ex-girlfriend's birthday. And she just goes on around, ah, how dare you? This and that. And then like halfway through her little tangent, she's like, I'm your wife, therefore I'm your ex-girlfriend. He's like, right, it's your birthday, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> she puts in the coat and grabs her card and walks out. <laughs> but it you know, wasn't just the talk anniversary. No, it was also your mom's birthday today. And my Aunt Julie. And your Aunt Julie. Because my mom was a twin. Yeah, twin. My mom was supposed to be a twin, but canonically, I'm like, she ate the twin. My mom's like, my mom. <laughs> that's also she's kind so of little. she's so little that's why she's little she's so little <laughs> you know she, like, it's like the opposite of like mario eating a mushroom she got smaller she got smaller <laughs> instead of with my mom um but yeah so just a happy birthday to my oh, one so, that's two that's two <laughs> i only caught the second one that's two um but yeah so it's the you know my mother-in-law's anniversary my mother-in-law's birthday um, and, uh, you know, it always, always kind of sucks. I'm like, man, cause you always tell me like, oh, y'all would have been such good friends. Y'all would have been... been thick as thieves. And, uh -huh. and, she uh, would have liked him more than me. Apparently had that effect on people. I don't know why. <laughs> but she's like, well, you can't do anything wrong. It's kind of like in that game. It's like when you screw up, it's no big deal. But when I screw up, you know, I'm the, I'm the prince of the idiots or whatever. Like you're the queen of the idiots. Well, you and mom just had so much in common. Well, like, yeah. I mean, your interests were very similar. Um, your humor was very similar. That's terrifying. <laughs> very creative people. Like, I mean, I'm creative too, but I'm more analytical than she was. Yeah. And um, more of the 
you know, art artistic mm -hmm. creative and you're the analytical creative, but you're also an artistic. Did you get that from your mom too? And my dad. And your dad. But and your, my grandpa. But your dad and I are really close. So, I mean, I think both of your parents probably would like me more than, than you or I'm pretty sure my your dad brother or your sister. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think that might be true. I mean, he would never admit it, but. I think that might be true. It's like my grandma admitting that I'm the favorite grandchild and your grandma. I still can't get my grandma to admit it. My but mom you, moved. You know for a kind fact of. both your grandmothers are like, yeah. She definitely takes the cake on that one for sure. But really, I mean, I'm grandma's favorite granddaughter. Oh, it's like when grandma's like, oh, that's my favorite grandson. Because like, <laughs> we're you, the only ones. It's like you mean your favorite grandchild, period. And I don't <laughs> think I was Mamu's favorite. I think I was just the first and oh, yeah. so that made it different and so plus i was my brother is almost four years younger than me uh -huh. so and i lived with her and i met her nana so i mean she just she had a bigger part in raising me than, exactly. than the others but i don't necessarily think that she had a favorite she loved all of us all of us had different very special relationships with yeah. her and I mean, she and I were really, really close, but she was close with the others, too. Yeah, I just... Sure. I mean, definitely. You know, I lost my mom when I was 14, so I knew the importance of keeping in contact more so than the others did sooner than they did. Yeah. They do now. They were adults, and, you know... Yeah, now they, they get it. <laughs> they, they communicate and everything, but for a long time... I was the only one that talked to her, and she had a hard time with that. But, you know, I would remind her, well, I'm the oldest, yeah. and I've kind of been through some Got more life some experience stuff. than some of the other folks in the family, which, I mean, it's no fault of their own, but, I mean, no. it's just... And I'm glad that they I didn't mean, have to go through that. It's kind of how my Nana was, too. Like, everybody was Nana's favorite. Like, that's the, the impression that she put on everybody was, like... Well, she's my, you know, she, she's, you know, I'm her favorite grandchild, or I'm her favorite great grandchild, or I'm her favorite, you know, uh, um, child. And uh, just at any time, because for a while, I'm like, yeah, I'm Nana's favorite. The way that we talk and do everything, and Dad would, bitch, I'm the favorite. And then my dad, like, no, I'm the favorite. You know, just, <laughs> you know, that's just how she was, and that's kind of how I feel that, you know, your grandma does that too. But I can kind of tell, like, you know, you know. Gun to her head, you know, I think she probably would have a decision. I do not ever want to picture but, a gun to my grandma's head. Well, ever. no, but I'm just saying, like, hypothetically, you know, if she had to pick. But then it kind of reminds me of that Rick and Morty episode where uh, Beth's like, Summer! And Morty's just like... <laughs> 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 He's all, like, tied up. He's like, what the hell? Like... <laughs> No, I, you know, I honestly believe her that she doesn't have a favorite. Yeah. Like, there are things about each of us that are so different. Because that grandma only has three grandchildren. Yeah. Um, my mamu had seven. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. And I was the oldest. And then, of course, my brother and my little sister went through some pretty, pretty rough stuff. Mm -hmm. um, my sister and I don't share a mom. But my, my brother and yeah. I both, you know, lost our moms. But they were so little. I was a teenager and needed mom mm -hmm. and so my grandmas became my mom okay. my mom is my mamu is my dad's mom and then grandma is my mom's mom and my mamu passed away on april 19th mm -hmm. of this year um which really sucked yeah. it still really yeah. sucks um it feels still so like surreal like it's like it's like it didn't happen, but then it like yeah, it was the, the impact of it was like just incredible at the same time. Like, I'm, like, wow. I'm still kind of messed up about it, honestly. Yeah, and you're gonna be, and that's understandable. Uh, I'm still a little messed up. <laughs> yeah. And mine was four years ago, and yours was what, 15, my mom? 16 years ago? My mom? Yeah. Oh, let's see, 2007. I have to do math. 17. 17. It'll be 17 years in September. Okay. Yeah, 17. So, oh, yeah, 15. Uh, it doesn't feel like 17 years ago, though. Oh, There's no. a part of me that will always be that 14 year old girl. Oh, yeah. I'm still, you know, 28, you know, thinking, like, oh, shit, that was four years ago. Damn. Like, you know, that's just how it, how it, you know, we all grieve in different ways, but I mean, I think we also grieve in a lot of the same ways. I mean, like, it's just like, it's crazy.
Sure, the path of grief is the same, but the behavior throughout oh, is yeah, different. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, clearly, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm grieving a lot differently than, you know, you did, or, you know, how my sisters did, and, you know, stuff like that, and, I mean, I get that, but, uh, yeah, just wanted, you know, roundabout way, just say happy birthday to the, the awesome mother-in-law that I never got to meet, but through your daughter, and, you know, the stories and stuff, like, I think you would have been a pretty badass chick, let's just say that, <laughs> I think it would have been awesome to, but, I mean, it feels like I, I have, you know, met her, you know, because, you know, I always tell you, like, you always say, like, oh, I get that from my mom, I get that from my mom, like, you know, or I get this from my dad, and I'm like, well, yeah, you definitely get that from your dad, I can see that, like, <laughs> that kind of thing, that mouth, <laughs> probably your mom, <laughs> what mouth? well, compared to, I mean, your dad doesn't mouth off, but that one home video I saw, your mom, you know, I could see where, you know, like, you, know, you don't get to open that till tomorrow, or, you know, you get to play with that till tomorrow, or, you know, Jocelyn, you know, behave. No, I think that was just me. Yeah. I don't think that came from anybody. I think I just got a smart mouth. <laughs> a smart mouth from, I blame your mom and your grandpa for that. And mama. Well, that's who I got it from. Mama. Grandpa and mama. It's like a big old mix of your, your, your maternal grandfather and your paternal grandmother that are just like coming I've been together. a smart mouth since I could talk, though, so. Because I kind of catch myself being, you know, like my grandma and then sometimes I catch myself being like Bill. You know, my mom's dad. And yeah. Like, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Stop. Can't be a grumpy old man when I'm 31. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> chill the fuck out. Like, <laughs> but then other aspects, I'm like, <sighs> you know, like you with the, the girls in the uh, the jeans in, oh in Mississippi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes I catch myself, I'm like, all right, that, all right, boomer. Like, you need to you put that to bed right now. But anyway. <laughs> oh, I did, uh. See, a, a funny a funny and interesting thing I was going to share with you on uh, Am I the Asshole um, the other day that was, I, I told it to your dad and he's like, whoa. So I'll you know, see if I can keep this brief, but if it goes long, then whatever, it's worth it. Um, it said, am I the asshole for what I did to my ex-fiance? And the story was, is uh, this guy was engaged to this woman and uh, a couple months before the wedding she's like oh i'm pregnant and he's like oh awesome i'm gonna be a, a husband and a dad like at the exact same time this is great this is like what i pictured um and um somehow um uh, right before the baby was born uh he discovered that his best friend was sleeping with his fiance and so he's like all right i'm gonna be here until the pregnancy uh and then the through the pregnancy into the birth. And uh, I'm sorry to do this, but the second that baby's born, I want a paternity test. Like, I gotta, I gotta find out right now. I'm not gonna wait. So she comes, you know, beautiful baby girl, everything's healthy. Uh, she takes a paternity test. Um, he's not the dad. Aww. So he just says, all right, see ya. You know, enjoy your life with my ex-best friend, my ex-fiance and my ex-daughter because he, you know, had this vision of, you know, raising her and you know, taking care of her. And then he's just like, I'm out. See ya. I'm done. I'm out of here. So he uh, gets a, a different job, like a few cities over. Um, and so his uh, his job uh, puts him temporarily in his hometown for uh, a project. I think he was like some kind of contractor or something like that. Shut up. You stuck Winnie the Pooh? Oh. <laughs> but, uh. So he's like, hey, it's, you know, I'm going back to my hometown and everything. Uh, and then his uh, his 20th year high school reunion was at the same time. Hush. So he's like, all right, cool. Like, you know, I got a hotel. You know, I can go to the reunion, pop in, say hi to a few friends that I haven't seen in a couple of decades. And uh, he pops in there and his, his ex fiance is there that's with, with uh, her daughter. Oh, that's even more awkward. And so they, you know, she pulls him aside and she's like, hey, I'm really sorry for what I did to you. I was young, dumb, and obviously full of cum. So I apologize. And um, I just want to bury the hatchet. Like, what I did to you was messed up. And uh, I wholeheartedly apologize. Like, all right, yeah, it's fine. It was 20 years ago. Like, we were kids. Like, you know, we were only, like, I think he was, like, 22, 23 at the time. So she was the same age because they graduated together. Um, but she leaves and then the daughter stays. And, uh, so it's an open bar. So him and 
the daughter are, you know, swapping stories about how terrible she was and, you know, how uh, the daughter can't stand her mom, but, you know, she's with her until she goes off to college, which is like next semester. Um, and so one thing leads to another and they sleep together. <laughs> but he didn't do it. Um, he was obviously they're both drunk so he's like oh my god he woke up the next morning like just like oh my god i can't believe i did that i can't believe it she was my daughter at one point like this is insane but the thing that he said that really triggered him was uh the fact that it wasn't she wasn't even his best friend's kid there was a third guy that was in the mix that she didn't know about until she was older she took one of those 23 and me's and found out who her real dad was when she was older and he died when she was like a toddler. So she never got a chance to connect with her actual dad. And uh, of course, you know, the best friend and her got married and they ended up getting divorced when she was little too because she was just nuck and fight. So he, he's like, I'm, I'm done, see ya. Chase away another one, congratulations. Um, but they slept together and then they did it again and again and again. And uh, they finally, like, you know, he was like, I mean, I, I don't know if I should tell your mom this. Like, what, 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 what does that mean for us? You know, what are we doing? And she's like, oh, no, I'll FaceTime her right now. So she hops on FaceTime, and they're both naked in bed in his hotel room. And she's like, yeah, that's right, Mom. I theme, I theme, yeah. Yeah, how does it feel? How does it feel? And she's just like, oh, my God, I hate you. I have no daughter, and you son of a bitch. You took advantage of my baby girl. And... He's like, hey, she's a consenting adult. Like, <laughs> like, sorry, I still feel awkward about this, but knowing that it's giving you pause and it's making you upset, I really like this now. <laughs> so uh, she's going to college and they're going to move in together happily ever after the end. <laughs> I don't love that. <laughs> I was like, mm. I don't mm. love that. Yeah, that was crazy. He's Not like, at all. And then he ended the post because it was somebody reading this off of a Reddit Am I the asshole? And he's like, you know what? Forget the question. I know I'm the asshole. My drop. Like, he said, I'm done. Like, so that was freaking crazy. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to share that. Because I know that you, you know, would share the uh, am I the asshole you know, stuff once in a blue moon. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Like, I'm gonna, I got a cool story to tell her. That is terrible. Yeah. I'm bothered. It's very bothersome. But I was like, okay. But, uh. Anywho, so, got that going for me. So, is there anything else you want to add? Or you want to get to the question? Oh, I don't care. I was just pulling it up, so I wouldn't forget. Okay. Well, I had something else to talk about, but uh, I forgot now. So, because that story, the, again, it took a while. It took like a, like five minutes to tell. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for me. So, you don't have anything else? I don't have anything else. I got nothing. Besides, we're sitting at the 18 minute mark, so. Ooh, sleepy. Okay. No, sleepy. Um,. What are three of your pet peeves? I only got to pick three. <laughs> well, that's not really one of them. Yes, it is. You hate being poked I in do, the chest. I do. I mean, it's not a pet peeve until somebody triggers it. <laughs> Nothing's a pet peeve until somebody triggers it. A uh, pet peeve, one of the biggest ones, is repeating myself. That's been a, a thing for most of my life. And stop doing that. <laughs> Pet peeve is when I tell people to stop doing stuff and they keep doing stuff. Yeah, see, there you go. I can't see those blocks. Uh, so there's two. Repeating myself and that. Whatever <laughs> that was. And then, um, I don't know. It's hard to pick a third one. I got a, I got a few swimming around. In my in my head movies in my my thinker. Well, pick two because if you don't count this one, then yeah, we'll pick two more. <laughs> um, bad drivers. Being a delivery driver myself, that is a huge one, huge huge one. Uh, what's the one that you got? Because the word favor. Oh yeah, hate that word. Hate the word favor. Um, not because anybody like. Not because, okay, it is because of one person why I hate that word, but no, through no fault of anybody else's own, when they use that word, like, my my blood just curdles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, 
use a different word. <laughs> There's not a different word. Yeah, could you do that for me? Or hey, while you're over there. Like you do that most of the time. You don't use the, the, the favor word That's very often. That's because I try really hard and, not to. But like, you know, not to name any names, but <laughs> Jordan does it a lot at work. It's like, hey, Colin, can you do me a favor? I always go, depends what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's my response to her usually, which is not usually anything like horrible. It's just like, hey, can you, uh, you know, take a picture of that for me or, you know, call the sender when you arrive, you know, or whatever, that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a word that I'm just like, I instantly like, I'm like a bull when I see a red cape. I'm just like, oh, when I hear the word favor. But, uh, anyway, so that's all I got. You, you playing with my dinosaur egg? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. It's like silly putty. That's my cat, by the way. <laughs> I guess that a really bad. Yeah, you playing with my dinosaur egg, but uh, <laughs> it's my cow. Because like when I flex it, yeah. Cause... See, when you flex it, it doesn't feel like silly putty. It's all uh, yeah stiff. Oh, sorry. You... <laughs> she gave me a Charlie horse. I'm sorry. I was trying really hard to not do that. It's because I flexed, and so I was like, "Hey, what are we doing?" So yeah, da. <laughs> I was trying to rub it out. Oh. <laughs> Trying to make it better. <laughs> that makes it worse. Why are you giggling? I don't know. I think it's like a funny bone or something. And yes, Chandler, I'm I'm okay. <laughs> He's got He's my very attack dog at the at the gate. He's gonna get you. But anyway, all right, guys. So that's all I've got for number twelve. So we got. Uh, I can tell she's really tired, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this because that. <laughs> Pink is slowly turning red. Like as red as that part of the flag. No, it's not. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here. It's not red. It's not red. It's not red. It's blue like salad. It's blue like salad. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. Always remember my little pig. Let's call a pork chop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys. And we will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.